What's poppin' the Jazzy Mob? It's your girl Jasmine here and I am back. I am back with another video and in today's video, as you read by the you see my thumbnail, your girl is back with another medical system video. This video was highly requested and I see a lot of people that you're reviewing all my other medical system videos and I'm just like, you know what? I might as well vlog today, vlog my whole entire day with y'all and show y'all exactly what I do on my everyday basis as being a medical assistant in a family medicine setting. So, today I'm going to take y'all along with me at work. I know you guys are super excited to see what I do at work and stuff like that. I'm really hoping that it don't be as busy so I can sh actually show y'all things and, you know, make this video longer for y'all, okay? Period. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys definitely smash the like button for me, comment down below, and also subscribe to Jazzy Mob. Just to get some work like that's the best thing about my job that i have now that i'm gonna you know worry about all of that and i see the cops right here i feel like they're gonna stop me for some reason but okay they're not okay see <laughs> like they can see my phone inside my little steering wheel i'm tripping but y'all yes i'm really today is a today is what thursday so yeah, I might not get this video until like the weekend, Sunday or something like that. Or even Monday, no, I don't know how, where I'm gonna drag this video at, but y'all gonna get this video at. Hey guys, so I just literally just got to work on the dot, like, but I'm about to be a little a few minutes late because I'm about to show y'all what I bring to work. All right, so first, I have my stethoscope. Now every medical system needs a stethoscope to check blood pressure. All right, so my job, just because of COVID and stuff, they want us to check our temperature every single day before we come inside of the building. So I got my thermometer here so I could check my temperature. They want us to know if you got fever or anything. It's like a little app that we got, you know, for my job. And it basically, you know, records you and stuff, showing that you're taking your temperature and seeing what your temperature is and things like that. But I'm about to just show y'all what my temperature is on, on this little camera real quick. And then I'm gonna redo it on my app. But this is what I do. A few minutes later. All right, guys. So my temperature, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, 97.6, which is good in the good number range. All right, next, I am going to bring, of course, my mask. I got to always put my mask on before work. I also like to bring my water bottle. I got like a room temperature water bottle and also some ice water. Don't ask me why I got both. All right, and I have my lip gloss, but I don't really use my lip gloss because I got my mask on and who's gonna see my lips. All right, and y'all, to snack on something before break, I have to bring my sunflower seeds, okay? And of course, I always wash my hands and stuff. So I don't, you know, eat my sunflower seeds in between patients and stuff. I only eat my sunflower seeds when I know I don't have no patience or anything. And my purse, of course, I don't want to show y'all my ID because y'all mm -mm, mm -mm, can't show y'all what I where I work at now. I can show y'all everything else. All right. So this is this is for us to get inside the door, you know, our employee entrance our little door i'm going to show y'all that but anyway y'all let me hurry up because i before i be late for a girl and y'all i need all my money okay period all right y'all let's go <sighs> all right y'all another day another dollar all right y'all this is our little thingy right here Break room. We got a big break room. 
but I like to put my water bottle in the freezer. Just put my things in there, mask up. Now I'm about to go over to my side, to my medical side. My job be so quiet in the morning, like, so we got different sections. We got a medical side, we got an OB side, we got a pediatric, pediatric and medicals on the same side, but OB, OBGYN, behavioral health, we got different sides and stuff like that. Y'all, so this is my outfit that I have on. Super plain, still cute, either way. But y'all, let me go over to my side now and I'm gonna take out the side of the room and show y'all how I prepare the room for a patient. patients use to you know look up different videos about health and stuff there you go our blood pressure cuff right there um our printers right there our biohazard where the needles and stuff go okay so what i can say about slow days i hate when it's slow because it's really nothing you can do but just walk around literally in circles that's the con part about being a medical assistant like it's literally a lot of downtime and usually in the downtime you gotta scan work or um do phone calls and stuff like that but the job that we can we don't gotta do all that so like i was saying i hate when it's downtime and being a medical assistant because there's really nothing you can do but clean the rooms and like for stock stuff and stuff like that. Usually we get like 200, 250 patients, so we only got like 76 patients. So just imagine that compared to this, you know? So it's very boring. I feel like my day's gonna go slower now. These are my clocks. I'll be getting so many compliments on my clocks, y'all. Y'all, look how small this cup is. <laughs> so cute for the babies. Super cute. We have our transmitter right here, and once you click on one, it like. Thank you for calling AMN there. Language Services, formerly known as Stratus Video. Thank. It goes to that. So that's what I like about this. And most jobs don't have um, translators or anything like that. literally sitting here bored out of my mind just waiting here for another patient to come all right but family medicine part is basically with adults and we see we do different things we do ekgs we do injections we do variety things like literally variety things OBGYN is what i used to do um i'm on that side sometimes, but not all the time. I prefer the family medicine part. I don't like working with the peds either, so I more so see the adult patients. That's what I, you know, that's my special specialty. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, why you don't like working with the kids and this and that and that and that. I honestly don't have a problem with working with the kids. I just feel like with being a medical assistant, it's much more work. I feel like because with their physicals, you gotta do the hearing test, you gotta do the vision test, you gotta do injections, you gotta ask them different questions, you know, is your kid, you know, develop development skills there or what? So I feel like it's way more with the kids, with pediatrics. But with the adults, you don't only gotta do all that. You don't even gotta do the vision or the hearing test with the physicals. All you do is just say basic vital signs. You know, they're hiding weight, the blood pressure, they pulse and their oxygen levels and stuff like that. And just ask them regular questions like, 
and say allergies so the same the medical history so the same you know stuff like that and all you gotta do is just check the, the box off and that's it like you're good to go but if they're a new patient you gotta go through everything but i feel like it's more faster with the new patients and no new patients is not faster what am i talking about but it's way faster than the kids i feel like so yeah people be asking me why you like doing adults because it's much faster and it's easier and the patient knows exactly what they came in here for you know but you do get some patients that don't really know you know and also you will get patients that be like don't want to tell you like what they're coming in for like they be like oh it's personal and that's okay that's okay it's personal in that situation you don't even ask them you know you wait until the doctor comes in and you know tell the doctor oh the patient doesn't want to tell me why they're here and stuff so that's when the doctor asks those questions but nobody is present right now i'm present on our schedule means that they're in the building but nobody's here a ride means they're ready to go and we can just call them back visit in progress means that the doctor is in the room with the patient signed means the patient is done and the visit is signed like their appointment is over with and the doctor you know is out of their chart um and room in the progress means the doctor is in there no room in the progress means we're in there they are so loud but somebody is present now so that means that they're in the building you know at the check and it's at the check-in and they're trying to get checked in so I'm about to call this patient back. It says I'm hot now, so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I had to take me a little bathroom break. My break is not until like 1.30, 2 o'clock, something like that. It all depends on who got here first and stuff like that. That's how they do break here. Like, you don't have a set time, you know, whenever that person get back. Like, we take one by one. So whenever that person get back, that next person who came in second, third, fourth, is next so i'm like the second to the last so i won't go and break until like 2 30 probably or 1 30 i'm gonna say 2 30 or 1 30 because it's like not that bad today but yeah girl i'm not even hungry because i had me some bacon eggs and toast this morning so i'm not even hungry but yeah y'all nothing's like too much going on today like i said it's only seven seven patients like i got here like at 9 30 and it's like 10 30 ish like i really feel like i've been here since i really feel like i've been here for four hours already like literally i hate when my day be going by so slow like i like to be you know occupied and stuff um but yeah i really don't really have much to really record right now so <laughs> but i'm gonna see y'all when i get on break and yeah so yeah all right, guys, so I am finally on break. I just went to McDonald's, got me some food, already ate already. But I just want to let y'all know that I'm on break now. Um, like I said, it wasn't really too much going on in my job today. Um, I think we only got like 40 patients left, but I leave at 6 o'clock. It is like 3, it's supposed to be 3 o'clock. So your girl got three more hours left to get through. Like it's you know really not much i can show because you know privacy hipaa and stuff like that can't be showing no patience so yeah your girl ain't trying to lose no job with no video but um yeah y'all but my food was really good i had some um i had a cheeseburger and i had some french fries and i got my sweet tea right here this ain't no mukbang, so that's why I ain't do that, you know? Um, it's such a beautiful day out here. I'm at my local waterfront. I'm always here and just like vibing because it's like so beautiful out here. I love, I love just watching the water. The water just keeps me calm, you know, you know, keeps me calm and I love that. And I love coming here like on my break and stuff. It's not like too many people out here, which is good, but yes y'all i want to come back on here and let y'all know what is going on i'm definitely gonna you know vlog when i leave too so yeah so i'm gonna continue enjoying my break and i'm gonna hit y'all back up later all right now i just sit here and wait 
Y'all, I was about to call back somebody, but somebody else took the patient already. Facts. Okay, we're for the day.